There was once a time when the rich, powerful, and prestigious built the biggest castles they could afford, and some of them look absolutely spectacular. Beautiful craftsmanship and ingenious designs. Join me as we take a look at the top 15 most beautiful castles on Earth. Number 15. Mont Saint Michel. What better place to build a church than perched right on top of a tidal island? The Mont Saint Michel Abbey hangs out just off the beautiful coast of Normandy in the northwest region of France and is without a doubt one of the most interesting sights the country has to offer. It's an enormous abbey full of chapels and cloisters that manages to snug itself between all of the historical buildings, halls, and trees of the town below. But more than a place of worship, Mont Saint Michel Abbey is also an amazing castle. The abbey itself has been around since at least the 9th century, when God was placed all over things, so pilgrims have been visiting the site, as well as the monks inside, since then. But it wasn't until 1523 that what we see today was completed. Amazing, though, to think that this was built entirely with human hands centuries ago. And of course, times change, so Mont Saint Michel Abbey isn't seeing too many pilgrims these days. Instead, they've been replaced by tourists aplenty. Number 14. Edinburgh Castle Scotland is incredibly old, and so there are plenty of castles still standing that can provide us all with a glimpse into the country's past. But there's one that really takes the cake. Edinburgh Castle sits on the aptly named Castle Rock and overlooks the entire capital for which it is named. And while the castle's positioning may serve as an incredible backdrop for the folks below, it had a more strategic implementation when it was built. Everyone in the castle could see the enemy as they approached while still remaining incredibly difficult to reach. Simply put, Edinburgh Castle has the high ground. The castle has a bit of a tumultuous history, and during both the First and Second Wars of Scottish Independence, it changed hands back and forth between the Scottish and the English plenty of times. Nowadays, though, the tensions have died down a bit, and Edinburgh Castle is one of the top tourist attractions that Scotland has to offer, with plenty of tours and events happening throughout the day. And even if you do want to avoid the castle crowds, Edinburgh Castle is probably the most picturesque scene in the entire country, and simply enjoying it from afar may be just as magical. Number 13. Alhambra When we think of castles, it's easy for your mind to go straight to medieval England when the lords and ladies ruled supreme. But Spain has plenty of castles to show off too, so if you ever get the chance to visit the country, why not take a day to check out Alhambra Castle? Alhambra is a sweeping palace and fortress in Andalusia, Spain, and it was built in the 13th century by Nasrat Emir Mohammed ben al Amar of the Emirate of Grenada. And part of what makes Alhambra so cool is that it was built right on top of the ruins of former Roman fortifications. It officially became a royal palace in the year 1333, and by the mid 1400s, Alhambra was the site of the royal court of Ferdinand and Isabella. And the legend has it that Christopher Columbus was even given the green light for his famed expedition here. But on the outside, Alhambra is a solid example of the Moorish architecture that dominated the ancient Muslim dynasties in the region. There's also plenty to do and see here, like the Court of Myrtles, Hall of Ambassadors, and the Court of the Lions. And if you get here at the right time of year, it's surrounded by lush green trees. Number 12. The Anden Castle Sitting nicely between France, Belgium, and Germany is the small country of Luxembourg, which just happens to be home to one of the region's largest fortified castles, the Anden Castle. This castle is old, like really old. Construction of the Anden Castle officially began back in the 10th century and wasn't completed until the 14th century. So imagine barking on a 300-year project that you know you, your children, or their children will never see to the end. That's some serious dedication. Bandun Castle boasts some amazing Romanesque architecture that manages to withstand the tests of time with its semicircular arches. But what's really cool is that the construction and architectural styles change during the years, and it was built so you'll also see some strong hints of Gothic additions as well. And like any good castle, this one sits on a high hill overlooking the town of Vienden below. But imagine living in a home at the bottom of the hill and waking up to this view above you every morning. Number 11. Trakai Island Castle We've seen that building a castle on the top of a hill is a surefire way to stay safe while raining down on your enemies. But what about building a castle on an island? Not only is it a sound idea strategically, but it's also just plain cool. So the Trakai Island Castle is an amazing brick castle in Poland on Lake Gauf. Construction began at the tail end of the 14th century and was wrapped up within the first decade of the 15th century. That is pretty fast, all things considered. 
The castle was one of the main hubs of the Grand Duchy of Lithuania. When that dynasty was officially defeated by the Lithuanian Polish army, it lost all of its military significance. Needless to say, the castle has been through a lot and seen many battles, and eventually fell into a state of physical disarray. Eventually, royalty would leave the site, and so the Trakai Island castle became a prison by the 17th century. Think of it as a fancier Alcatraz. But luckily for the rest of us, those days are long over, and the once dilapidated structure was reconstructed in the 1960s in its original style. Number 10. Bodium Castle Now we've finally made our way over to England, home of kings and queens, knights and squires, and of course, palaces and castles. A big part of the country's historical and cultural significance can be found in these ancient fortresses, with one of the more well-known being Bodium Castle. Built in the 14th century in East Sussex by Sir Edward Dallingridge, a former knight, Bodium Castle is encircled by your stereotypical moat to defend the area against the French invaders during the Hundred Years' War. But what makes Bodium Castle stand out aside from the water that surrounds it is that it's a quadrangular castle, with chambers both on the outer walls and inner quartz. The castle has been through a lot, plenty of battles as well as the elements, and so the interiors no longer remain. This one is best viewed simply from the outside, but you can still enjoy the central courtyard, three coats of arms in the main archway, and all the towers that were once full of archers and vats full of burning oil ready to be poured onto French soldiers below. Number 9. Boinicha Castle There are plenty of hard, stone-faced castles out there, built more so for staving off attacks than they were to show off architectural beauty. But the Boinicha Castle in Slovakia looks like it was plucked right out of a Central European fairy tale, which is probably why it's one of the country's most visited attractions year after year. The history of Boinicha Castle began in the 12th century, when it was first owned by Matthew III Czech in the year 1302, when he received it from the King Ladislaus V of Hungary. And it's safe to say that Matthew was one happy camper in his new castle. It's an absolutely stunning architectural marvel that sits on the top of a limestone hill and is surrounded by an enormous and gorgeous park. You may be even able to catch some swans drifting about in the waters below. Bonice Castle is now an artistic and historical museum, but you can also attend the International Festival of Ghosts and Spooks here every spring. Because what good is a fairy tale castle without some fairy tale ghosts? Number 8. Hohenwefen Castle And speaking of ghosts and fairy tales, let's talk about the next beautiful castle on our list, Hohenwefen Castle. This castle is found in Austria, surrounded by the Berchtesgaden Alps near the Tenen Mountains, not too far from the German border. But this castle looks like it was built for a movie set where the main character goes to train before the big battle. It is an absolute masterpiece that dates all the way back to the 11th century. Hohenwerfen Castle was on top of a 500-foot-high rock to serve as a strategic high ground, serving as a military base for years for Salzburg before becoming a residence and even a hunting retreat. Much has happened within these walls, especially when it became a state prison. If you visit the castle today, though, it's much less nefarious and serves as a museum that showcases not just the nation's history, but also a vast collection of nasty medieval weapons, many of which saw some action at the foot of the hill all those years ago. But what's really cool about this castle is that you can still go up to see the falconry where they housed all sorts of birds of prey for hunting, and the staff will even put on a flight demonstration with birds like eagles, hawks, and vultures. Number 7. Chateau du Pierrefonds The Chateau du Pierrefonds in France is an incredibly powerful-looking piece of architecture, with plenty of towers and spires that sit high over the treetops. It looks like it belongs at a theme park, but rest assured, it's the real deal. And while it may not have been home to the likes of Merlin, it certainly has a magical appeal to it. The chateau was built between the 4th and 15th centuries before it was destroyed and left in a state of total disarray for the next 200 years. Things got so bad that Napoleon purchased the castle in 1810 for a measly 3,000 francs. But shortly after his purchase, the chateau became a great monument of historical and cultural significance for France, and so it underwent a big-time restoration. Things really worked out, because while the Chateau is an incredibly popular tourist destination, it also appeared in plenty of films and television shows, making it one of the more recognizable castles in the world as well. Number 6. Corvin Castle 
When you think of Transylvania, what's the first thing that comes to mind? Vampires? Count Dracula? No one can blame you for letting your mind go there. But Romania is also renowned for its collection of castles, with Corvin Castle being one of the most beautiful. It's an absolute must for anyone visiting the country. Corvin Castle was built as the Middle Ages were coming to a close, so it has a very distinct Gothic Renaissance style, and it's even one of the largest castles in all of Europe. That's no easy feat. When you look at Corvin Castle, your eyes will quickly notice the tall and imposing towers that point straight at the sky. But there are also some impressive bastions as well as the inner courtyard, different colored roofs, and rows upon rows of windows and balconies, all decorated with intricately crafted stone carvings. It is all very impressive, and you have to remember that those minute details were all done by hand. The castle served as a fortress well into the 14th century, with the Buzdegan Tower serving as the focal point, and was once home to the local Transylvanian governor, Iancu de Hunadora. Number 5. Kluboka Castle Another castle on our list that looks like the perfect place for princesses and magic is Kluboka Castle in the Czech Republic. And despite being built in the Middle Ages, Kluboka Castle was not built with military strategy in mind so the designers and architects were really allowed to flex their creativity with this one. It features a very prominent Gothic design, which is without a doubt why it has such a romantic aesthetic to it. This is an old one too. It was built in the mid to late 13th century, and when the Renaissance rolled around bringing new ideas, tastes, and styles, Kuboka Castle was expanded upon and eventually rebuilt as a Baroque castle. But then, when Prince Johann Adolf II von Schwarzenberg called this place home, he decided to have it reconstructed again to resemble Windsor Castle in England. So, despite having never seen war or bloodshed, Kluboka Castle certainly has been through a lot during its day, but all of the constant updates and upkeep are what allowed it to remain so pristine for the last 800 years. Number 4. Dorwart Castle Dorwith Castle in the Netherlands is most definitely a castle, but by today's standards it looks like the country home of an eccentric millionaire. But it's been through a lot since it was first erected. No one really knows for sure when the structure was officially built, but the first mention of the castle in any records is from the second half of the 13th century. Like today, it was surrounded by water on the River Rhine, but was most likely built totally from wood. This would change, though, when it was rebuilt, only this time with stone, which is obviously sturdier and more difficult to burn. The people inside needed to be safe. The castle certainly has a certain rustic and cozy charm to it that you don't often see from such structures that adds to its character. And despite being surrounded by a moat, it's still incredibly inviting. Just imagine being greeted inside by a warm hearth and some hot cocoa on a gorgeous fall evening. The grounds aren't just home to the famous castle. It's here you'll also find one of the oldest trees in Holland, an acacia tree that's around 400 years old. Number 3. Chateau du Hauptkonigsberg Near the Black Forest, perched in the mountains and overlooking the Alsatian plain, is none other than the Chateau du Hauptkonigsberg. This one is just absolutely incredible and really provides a bird's eye view of the landscape below. The first records of the castle's existence date back to the year 1147, and you can see that it has all of the necessary medieval features that a castle of this magnitude should have. The location and sheer scale made it literally the best vantage point and fortress in the area, and any attempts at a siege or even an all-out attack would prove to be incredibly difficult. The entire castle is built out of a beautiful pink sandstone, a widely used feature in this region of France and Germany, which gives the castle its localized look. And while the chateau was used as a fortress, it was also home to not only royalty, but hundreds of workers and soldiers, with many of the living quarters still intact today. Number 2. Fainus Castle You can't have a list of beautiful castles without venturing over to Italy. And yes, Fainus Castle did serve its own militaristic purposes, but it was built on a small knoll and served better as the seat of the noble Chalant family. The first thing you'll probably notice about this castle, though, is that it's incredibly drab and gray. But don't let that be a deterrent, because these colors allow for a gorgeous juxtaposition of color with the clear blue sky above and lush greenery below. The castle's design is a bit more robust and has a pentagonal layout with lots of sharp corners and round towers. The entire keep is enclosed by a double perimeter wall that's been completely lined with watchtowers. So although Phoenix Castle just barely has the high ground, it was still incredibly difficult to penetrate. 
If you move towards the tall center square tower, you'll find the access point to the castle itself, with a stone semicircular staircase that leads to a wooden balcony, as well as the stunning inner courtyard decorated with amazing and impressive frescoes. Number 1. Castillo de Coca the exquisitely crafted Castillo de Coca can be found in Segovia in central Spain, and it looks like something straight from your favorite televised fantasy series. But you better believe that this castle is 100% real. Much of the 15th century castle is carved right into the rock it sits on, and is one of the best examples of Spanish mudéjar brickwork you will ever find in the world, and combines Moorish Muslim design and construction with Gothic architecture. The Castillo de Coca sits in what was once a highly contested and war-torn area, which is why the bricks were especially hardened to withstand an enemy onslaught. This thing is built to last, and it certainly has. But impressive means of defense didn't stop with the bricks. The castle itself features three tiers consisting of wall circuits enclosed with a moat and a central keep, so if the walls were somehow breached, the enemy would have to fight their way through waves and waves of soldiers before clearing the moat and being greeted by an onslaught in the center. Today, the Castillo de Coca is surrounded by green grass and blue skies, and will go down as one of the greatest and most beautiful castles in human history. Watch our obscure playlist for more top 15 videos about the more obscure subjects in our world. Sit back, relax, and binge watch all of our best and most obscure videos.